Welcome to Furious Recaps. In today's video, we will be going through the 2018 Sky-Fi Mystery Movie Freaks. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. Seven-year-old Chloe Lewis has lived her entire life hiding in an abandoned house in the suburbs with her father, Henry. She is forbidden to go outside by her father in fear of bad men who killed her mother. Despite the isolation and living on the canned goods, Chloe grows up to be a capable and an independent child. Every day, Henry drills the escape routine to her in case something happens to him while he's on the food run. Henry made a deal with the neighbors, Stephen Reed, that if anything happens to him, that Reed will be paid a steady amount of cash as long as they take care of his daughter. Chloe memorizes the Reed's name and information as well as little facts about them ensuring that she's just like any other seven-year-old girl. As they settle in for the night, Chloe hears a sound coming from the closet. She opens it and sees a woman bound in chains and screams at it to go away. The numerous drawings of the woman surrounding her reveal that Chloe's been seeing this haunting figure for a while now. Henry comes into the room and tells her that she's just imagined it. He agrees to accompany her but refuses to sleep telling her that too much time passes outside when he sleeps and can only protect her if he's awake. The next morning, Chloe wakes up with the sound of an ice cream truck coming from the street. She looks out of the window and sees Reed's daughter, Harper, buying ice cream. She whispers in her direction, commanding her to get her ice cream too, and soon enough, Harper arrives at their door bringing her a chocolate ice cream cone. Chloe opens the door and just as she's about to take the food, Henry stops her. Henry then reprimands Chloe and asks her if she's been going outside. Chloe denies this, but he doesn't believe her, locking her in the closet as a punishment. The next morning, Henry agrees to buy Chloe ice cream as an apology, but things don't go as planned. Henry returns much earlier with the groceries and a wound on the side of his stomach. He tells her that the plan has changed. They have to stay in hiding for a longer period now. Before he can say anything else, Henry passes out on the kitchen floor. A force field erupts from the house and is sucked back into his body. It turns out that Henry has been using a time bubble around their house, slowing the time down in the outside world while keeping normal pace inside their bubble. Even though Chloe is 7 years old, it's only been there 3 months since her birth in the outside world, meaning that they've been in the time bubble for 7 years. Using this as a chance to escape, Chloe takes a $100 bill and goes outside of the house at the first time in her life. She goes straight to the ice cream truck and meets the owner, Alan, also known as Mr. Snowcone. Alan bribes her with an ice cream cone and lets her into the truck. Together, they travel to the park, with Chloe looking outside of the window and seeing outside world for the first time. She also sees a billboard about people called the abnormals, whose eyes bleed. She tells Alan that her father's eyes bleed too. Alan takes Chloe to the park and pushes her on the swing. He talks to Chloe, asking her if she's done anything special or has done anything weird ever has happened to her when she's angry or upset. He then tells Chloe about her mom, who was a very special person who had gifts. As he tries to retell her adventure with the mother, a police officer interrupts them. The officer grows suspicious of Alan and asks him to step away from the girl. Alan tells him that his granddaughter, the officer, then asks Alan to show his eye. Alan turns to Chloe and tells him that the officer is one of the bad guys who killed her mother. Chloe becomes upset and starts screaming at the man to go away. Surprisingly, the officer puts his gun, as if in a trance, and then walks away. As they drive home, Alan shows her a picture of her mother and lets her borrow it. He hands Chloe crushed sleeping pills and tells her that the next time she hears this truck, she should put it on her dad's food. When Henry wakes up, Chloe accuses him of lying to her and not telling that she's special and then yells at him to get out of her room. Later that night, Chloe wakes up to the sound coming from the closet again. She opens it and she's the apparition of the chained woman. But this time, she recognizes her to be the one in the picture, her mother. The woman lashes out at her, thinking that she's a cruel hallucination done by the other torturers. As Chloe runs off, she goes to her father and sees him asleep in the front of the television. She learns more about these abnormals, or as humans call them, freaks. Freaks are beings who look just like humans, but have special powers causing their eyes to bleed out when they can use them. They are being hunted down by the government to be used as weapons. Later that night, Chloe sees the woman for the third time and manages to convince her that she's real. 
Her mother recognizes her and asks her how she got in there. Chloe tells her that she's in her closet. Feeling confused, her mother realizes that Chloe's communicating with her through her mind and appearing in her cell as an apparition. The next morning, Chloe tells Henry about her mother, but he doesn't believe her. Seeing no other way to escape, she tries to drug her father. Henry realizes what she's doing and chases her to the door. She commands him to sleep and he slips down to the floor as blood begins to drip from her eyes. She meets with Alan in the truck and he tells her about his plan. There's no use for people like them to hide anymore. They travel to a dinner and meet with one of the government agents called Agent Ray. Alan poses as a priest who raised Chloe under the alias Eleanor Reed as his own and asks Agent Ray to take them to Madoc Mountain, a place where they relocated the freaks. Chloe goes off the script and runs to the diner's kitchen. To save them, Alan blinds one of the dishwashers and sends him outside. The Asians shoot the guy, thinking that he is an abnormal. Alan carries Chloe, and then they turn invisible, barely escaping with their lives. Back in their truck, Chloe finds out that her mother is still alive and Alan was trying to find a way into the mountain where her mother is being held captive. She demands Alan to take her home so that she can live with the reeds and he tells her to get out of her head. On the way home, Henry appears in the middle of the road. Chloe gets out and is almost hit by a car, but Henry activates his force field just in time to save her. Deciding it's time, Henry takes Chloe to Reed's to fulfill their deal. Steven agrees and introduces them to Nancy and Harper. Nancy soon realizes that Chloe is a freak and backs out of the deal saying that she didn't know that they were supposed to be taking in an abnormal. Henry and Chloe return back to the house where Alan is waiting for them, bound to the chair. Henry is shocked to see her eyes bleeding and realizing that she's an abnormal like him too. Afraid to trust her, Henry puts her in the closet. She meets her mother again, but she's taken away by thugs. As Henry seals her in the closet, she screams at her father and tells him that they have to save her mother. She becomes too upset and almost kills him as she puts him in a trance with a drill into his neck. Alan and Henry argue downstairs as Chloe peek into the window and sees that Nancy has already reported them. To the 80th, she projects the apparition in real time into the room and the men are shocked at the realization of the extent of Chloe's powers. They watch in awe as they watch Chloe force the officer to stab Nancy in the eye and then use his own gun to shoot himself. This alerts the other officers and they shoot Nancy, thinking that she's an abnormal. Henry is horrified as he searches for Alan, who has now taken Chloe and turned invisible. Chloe escapes his grasp and runs to her room. Finding an apparition of her mother, Mary strapped into a metal bed. Henry and Alan appear and see Mary alive. As the doctor tries to kill her, Chloe takes over his body and proceeds to kill himself. She then takes control of the officer and then starts freeing her mother. The doorbell interrupts their reunion and Henry sees that it's Agent Ray. He lets her in. Trying to pose as a real estate developer as Chloe tries to help Mary escape, Agent Ray interrogates Henry but she sees through his bluff and asks him to sit down. She threatens him by bombing the house. If he doesn't follow his instructions as Alan sneaks behind her with a gun to her head, Agent Ray spots this and takes the gun, accidentally firing it at Henry. He manages to activate his field, but he is too drained and the bullet pierces through his stomach. Meanwhile, as Chloe tries to help Mary get out, an officer picks up on her plan and Chloe starts attacking him. This triggers the alarm and Mary runs to escape. Back at the house, Agent Ray finds Chloe in the bedroom and fires the gun at her. The bullet doesn't hit her, but kills Alan instead. This upsets Chloe and she forces Agent Ray's gun to aim back at her head and then kills herself. Henry knows that they're running out of time, so he pretends to hold the agent hostage and creates a field around the house, killing down the three officers in the process. Chloe runs to her father and passes out. Exhausted from her using her powers, Mary is now trapped before the final exit with officers closing in on her. She calls out to Chloe once again, waking her up. Chloe screams and uses her powers as much as she can to take over the minds of every officer in the Maddox Mountain, setting the last piece of her mother's release. Mary runs outside, finally free, and takes flight, destroying every agent within her radius. A missile has now locked itself into the house and Henry uses his power one last time, trying to slow down the missile. He carries Chloe's body outside of the house, is blown to bits behind him. When Chloe wakes up, Henry bids her goodbye and tells her how much he loves her. She cries over his dead body as he hears the gunshots. The shooting stops and she is rescued by her mother. 
Chloe and Mary reunite for the first time and Mary promises her to hide and protect forever. Chloe tells her that they don't need to hide anymore and they can live wherever they want. Encouraged by her daughter's confidence, Mary wraps her in her arms and they take flight. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.